Cámara, acción. Hi, I'm Omar Ali Boy. I am making a traditional Spanish seafood fideuá, cuttlefish and prawns. We're quite obsessed about food in Spain generally, you know, since we're little kids as we grow up and even when we are having one meal, we are already thinking and talking about the next one. I've chose to make a fideuá, which is a paella made with pasta instead of rice. The base of any good seafood paella will always be the quality of your seafood. A little bit of this huge Spanish onion, good Spanish garlic as well, finely chop it. We're going to infuse fish stock with a little pinch of saffron. When I was 14, I went to a cookery course in where I learned all the Spanish traditional recipes, this being one of them. We are going to add the fideo. We are going to be using pasta instead of rice. The type of pasta that will take no longer than about three to four minutes to cook. This is a bit tricky. We are going to add these lovely prawns, and I'm going to brown them reserve them for a little later. We'll go straight with the cuttlefish. This will take about 10 minutes to brown. You'll see how quickly and how easy you make this and probably it'll even change your life. <laughs> this is the perfect cooking point for the cuttlefish. You can see all these brown bits. It is at this point where we are going to add the remaining ingredients. Spanish onion, finely chopped garlic, the paprika. You need to quickly interrupt the cooking with some of the tomato. Stir it for a couple of minutes for all the flavors to come together. And we are going to add our fried pasta. Our fish stock is completely infused. And for our prawns, we just need to let it cook by itself. To make the alioli, I use a technique that I learned from my mom. They're very unconventional. Any chef will be scared of doing it. Mayonnaise, aliolis tend to split. It goes against all laws of physics. <laughs> An olive oil and a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm adding three garlic cloves, a couple of eggs, a good pinch of salt, and a whole lemon. Maonesa is a Spanish sauce, but it was taken by the French and call it mayonnaise. Most of the world don't know about it. So I was always helping my mom making dinner. I became the head chef of the house, as my mom used to say. You just go up and down for everything to come together. And that's done. Just as alioli should be. And then to finish off, a good glass of horchata. It's a tiger nut root vegetable that we soak in water, that we just mix with sugar, and makes a fantastic, refreshing drink.